Hey everybody, welcome back, Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be talking about Mills plates. What are Mills plates? Do we plan on converting the LEGO City to Mills plates? Should we convert the LEGO City? What does it take to create a Mills plate? First off, we should tell you what a Mills plate is. Mills is called, or stands for, Modular Integrated Landscaping System. So what's really cool about it is it's modular. Anytime you hear the word modular in LEGO, that means it's something good. Landscaping and system. Well, that's pretty amazing. You know why? Because you're able to do a lot more landscaping in a LEGO city layout, both in the city and also in like amusement parks, campgrounds, beaches, anything like that. So with a modular integrated landscaping system, you're allowed to, or you're able to elevate the amount of detail that you have in a LEGO city. So today we're gonna to be talking about if I plan on doing mills and if I plan on doing it, how long it's gonna to take to execute. We also have a couple mills plates built. This one right here, which is just a standard mills plate that you could build a modular building on. Uh, and we also have a straight road plate. These are the only two mills plates that I have ever built in my life. And they were a lot of fun to build. First, I wasn't sold on the system. But after building these, I'm pretty much sold on the system. The issue is, is creating these takes a lot of time and a lot of resources. However, I think when you're a LEGO city builder, like myself, I think it's definitely worth switching to mills. So let's have a look at these uh, before we get started talking about mills and what our plan is here for the LEGO city. So these are the two mills plates that I've created so far. So we're very early in the process because my LEGO City has over 300 10 inch by 10 inch base plates. Whether they're allocated to the city, the campground, the beach, etc. All over the LEGO City is over 300 and that doesn't include all of the surface area underneath where we're building uh, the medieval scene and also some train stuff. So what is a Mills plate? Well a Mills is a little bit different. So we take the standard base plate here and we create this extra layer. How do we do that? Well, we use bricks underneath a layer of plates. So you can see that this thing is pretty strong. Essentially, you could stand on this. And what we do is we take a whole bunch of two by bricks and a whole bunch of plate. Doesn't matter what size the plate is. Then you lay a layer of bricks underneath and then you start putting your plate over top. So we've essentially created this new surface where you can build a building or landscaping. Now what's really cool about this is you put these Technic 1x4 bricks right here with the three holes in each corner. So when you build a road plate like this here, you can use the Technic pins and the neat thing about it is they can just go together just like that there. That's one of the main reasons why we want to do mills. Because when you look at the LEGO City here, it's actually really hard to make changes to it. Why is that? That's because these road plates right here are actually tiled in place with the modular base plate. So this row of tiles right here, we actually have this connected to this base plate. So these two base plates are connected. So in order to move this modular building right here, we need to take off all of these tiles going around the perimeter that attach it to the road and then we're able to extract this building and pull it out and move it around. So the only way to extract that building there is by doing that. And it sort of makes a mess. You have to move minifigures. You have to move things like lamp posts and bushes if you want to move this road plate around. So with the integration of mills, you don't have to do that. So when we make LEGO City changes, which we do constantly, it's going to be a lot easier to make those changes. Because now we would have our modular building placed on this rock solid mills plate and it would be attached to the road plate just like that there using the friction pins. Also, when we go to pick up this modular building that's on this rock solid mills plate that I can't even bend, it's going to be a lot easier for it to move. So that's one of the main reasons why you would want to convert a Lego city to mills plates. Because look at this. It's flimsy. When you pick up a modular building, it's sort of wobbling all over the place and it's a little dangerous to move. That's why so many people that set up at Lego shows always use the mills standard. Also, if you use the mill standard like this, your modular buildings can integrate with other people's modular buildings when you do a big 
show display. Not that we plan on doing that, but it's just gonna make it a lot easier to move things around the Lego city. So when we take a look at the old road plate, essentially it's just like a base plate. You've got six studs on either side for your sidewalk. And when we compare that to the new base plate for roads, it's a little bit different for sure. You can see that the road is actually a little bit narrower. There's no sidewalk on the sides. This is a 32 stud base plate, and this is only 16 studs right here. So it's half the size. So essentially when Lego released these and essentially replaced these ones here, they handcuffed Lego fans who are looking to make a Lego city to the mill system because you can see that we've converted this blue base plate right here to a straight road using the new road system. So we've done that using a unique technique that uh, involves putting a layer of bricks and plates and then also raising up our sidewalk one brick, one plate and one tile. Now what's really cool about this? Well, you can actually add more detail. For example, you can see the drains right there on the side and we can actually add more detail. Like if we wanted to, we could put a crack in the sidewalk or we can add a little pothole in the sidewalk or we can do all sorts of different things. And that's the same with this here. For example, if we were to use a mills plate to create our campground, what we could do is rather than using bricks in say the middle of this plate, we could use plates and we could make a little area of it deeper and we could make a pond in the center of it. So the mills plates also allow you to do a lot more unique things because you're working with more depth by using this brick. So you can take some plates and you can make it deeper in certain sections or you can have it go right down to the base of the blue base plate. If we wanted to say remove a bunch of this stuff here in the center and have like a pond, we could even just get rid of a bunch of these bricks here then we could have this deep pond and have it slightly go down. So that's why it's a landscaping system. Just envision the amount of detail that we could add to the beach. Like our sand could have different levels of depth and even more so imagine the detail that we could add to the campground. We actually started adding more detail to this section just by using green plate to create those different layers on top of the standard base plate. For example, right over here, we've used a bunch of green plate to raise up this area to make a little hill. Now imagine the amount of detail that we would be able to add with the mill system. For example, if we wanted to have a little creek running through our campground, we would be able to do that in a more realistic fashion because we'd be able to create the depth technique using the mill system, which would be absolutely incredible. If we were to change this whole area to the mill system, we would be able to add a lot more detail. Another cool thing is if we change this whole area and we ever wanted to make changes to specific base plates, it would be very easy. Whereas right now, essentially all of the base plates in this area are connected to one another by plates. What I mean by that is there's plates overlapping each base plate, making it very difficult to extract a certain base plate. Whereas if it was the mill system, we would be able to take out a single plate by just simply removing it because it was just held together by the Technic friction pins. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why haven't I already made the switch to mills plates? Oh my gosh, you're, all, you're only saying positive things about these magnificent plates and how they would elevate everything in the Lego city. Like, could you imagine like the roller coaster being on a mills plate or the amusement park being on a mills plate system? It would be absolutely incredible. I would love it. Why haven't I done it? Well, obviously it's because these plates use a huge amount of parts and even more so the road plates use a huge amount of parts because not only do you have to supply the base plate, but you also have to supply the road plate, all the tiles, all the, the plates, the underlying brick, all that different stuff. So that's why I haven't converted yet. It's just a sort of cost thing of doing that. And obviously these plates take a long time to make. So it's a cost and money thing, or sorry, a cost and time thing. Time is money, I'm <laughs> just kidding. But uh, obviously you could tell that I'm pretty much sold on the idea. Originally, I was thinking that I didn't want to do it, but then when I built those two plates during a member stream, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. This plate is so rigid and so strong that I think I need to do it. Also, just the amount of detail it'll add to the city 
was amazing to think about that process would be amazing and incredible. Now, why else do I want to do it? I mean, my Lego city has never looked this good. Like, oh my gosh, this is the best the Lego city has ever looked, right? Like, why on earth would I want to change everything now? It's because I've been building a Lego city for uh, six, seven years, something like that. I started in May of 2015. That's when I started collecting Lego. So call it uh, 2016, that's when I started building a Lego city. So I've been building a Lego city for six years roughly, and I've been using the same systems with the Mazra building and the old road plates and stuff like that. So essentially, I've been building the city and it's never looked this good and it's never been this more complete or this complete. But when I've been doing all the Lego city rearranges and stuff like that, I've only used the old system. So I'm looking for something to bring it to the next level, and I'm also looking for something to just make it more fun in my mind. It's not that I'm not having fun with this system. Obviously, I've, I love it and it's amazing, but I think that that is just gonna take the amount of fun and the amount of things that you can do with Lego to the next level and really elevate your creativity or my creativity and just the way that we operate here in the Lego room and the way that the city looks. So obviously, I'm gonna move forward with doing that, but what is the timeline? It's not like I can snap my fingers and have this done. It's gonna take some time because we have to acquire all of the different parts to do it. Why did Google, why is Google responding to that? I guess it's ordering parts so automatically. No, I'm just kidding. But I uh, have to allocate, uh, sorry, we have to order a whole bunch of parts to get this going. And we're gonna start accumulating parts uh, over the next six to eight months. We're slowly but surely gonna accumulate parts and start building road plates. So when we do integrate this new system, we're going to be uh, building as many road plates as we can to accommodate the downtown core, and we're gonna build as many of these as we can to accommodate uh, all of the buildings in the downtown core, and that will be the first section of the LIGO city that will switch over. And then once the downtown core is done, we'll probably move to residential or we'll move to uh, the amusement park here. So obviously this is gonna be a lot of work for us, uh, we're going to be logging it all on the channel here. Uh, we're going to be doing some tutorial videos on how to make all the different road plates once I figure out exactly how we're going to do that. And we're going to do some tutorials on how to switch over uh, modular buildings. And we're just going to have fun logging the whole process. And there's going to be a lot of LEGO City updates in regards to that. But right now we're still in the accusation phase. So we're still acquiring all the different parts and stuff like that necessary to make these large changes uh, and to the Lego city and to integrate this mill system. So that's really about it for today. Just wanted to share my thoughts on mills and our plans and uh, sort of share why I think it's so amazing and why it's not done already and sort of when we're gonna be doing this. Uh, it's gonna be all done throughout the year of 2022, probably looking into 2023 and I can't wait to do it. It's gonna be a huge project, but we are absolutely hyped because it's gonna bring the Lego city to the next level and it's just gonna make things way more efficient in the Lego room once it's actually done. Let us know what you think of the mill system by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for coming on by. Farewell.